when I was a kid, my mother used to take my brother and I, and we'd go on these drives. And whenever we went on these drives, we would go out west. Well, we'd go west. And I remember always thinking like, wow, it's, it's such a beautiful area. But I remember in my early 20s, I started to get this itch. This itch to go places. And I was working like two to three jobs, and whenever I had money, I would buy plane tickets. And I would just go. I'd grab my backpack, I'd grab my ticket, and I would just go. But whenever I was home, and I never had a place to go, the only way to get that fix was to jump in my car and drive. And I remember one day driving. And I headed west, just like my mom used to take us. And I got to this street. And when I got there, and I started driving down this road, everything changed for me. I think, I think the best way to really describe it is my imagination woke up. But where this place really gets me, you take this turn and there's this giant hillside. And on this hillside is a pasture. And on a good day, it'll be shining bright with the sun and there'll be cows grazing. And there's just something about it that's just admirable. You wanna sit there and you wanna look. And I've always wondered what it must be like to live up there and to look down on the road. I didn't realize that what I was experiencing was just a part of something a lot bigger. That my road was part of a region that was unique and specific to where I'm from. That there's adventure there and there are people there and they've given this area a name and they call it the Driftless Area. end of my road. This is where it all This is where it all finishes. And right now it's really peaceful. There's nobody here. It's just me. There's a light breeze, the rustling of the leaves, and then this. And this is literally where the adventure begins for me. This is the beginning of the driftless area. We're gonna keep heading west, and we're gonna see more of it. Let's go.
So I just stopped along the road because I really liked this area, but I wanted to talk to you guys about why they call this the Driftless Area. You see, during the last ice age, as the glaciers came through the Midwest, there were two lobes, the Des Moines lobe, which came through western Minnesota and northern Iowa. And in northern Wisconsin and eastern Wisconsin came the Green Bay lobe. These two lobes never met. And so there was an area right here, this area, that never was affected by the, the glacier bulldozing. As you know, glaciers are nature's bulldozers. They flatten the area. Now, geologists, as they were studying the terrain, were able to determine where the glaciers were because glaciers leave footprints. And these footprints are known as glacial drift. And as you study the terrain, if you find this drift, which is a composition of gravel and sand and stone, you can determine that the glacier was here. But when they came to this area, they could not find that footprint. They could not find that drift. And so they just coined this area the driftless area. And that's essentially what we are, we are in. We are in the driftless area. And the reason it is so hilly is because the glaciers never flattened it. This area, this land, has been shaping itself for 1.6 million years through the rivers and streams and the wind has carved this territory into what it is today. Some people call this Wisconsin's hilly region or the Blufflands. I prefer to call it the driftless area. is amazing those hills with the fog it's just you wouldn't think that you're in the Midwest <laughs> Wow so there are a few characteristics about the driftless area that you should know about and one of them is right here there's a lot of water rivers streams creeks you name it they have it this is what has carved the area into what it is today. Without the water, you wouldn't have this. So when we talk about the characteristics, we're talking about the hills, we're talking about the streams, the rivers, the creeks. We're also talking about the farmland. When you're in this area, you can't miss it. It stands out. It's what makes it what it is. So I made it into Viroqua. I'm gonna get some lunch here. My friend told me that there's a really good cafe and I looked it up and it actually looks like it probably is a really good cafe. It's called the Driftless Cafe. So we're gonna get lunch there and then I'm gonna head, head out. And we're gonna do one more fun thing when we get back. Here we go guys, the Driftless Cafe and Bakery. Look at this place, it's a cool looking building. <laughs> if you need a job, they're looking for a dishwasher.
Look at these amazing photographs. I'm trying to figure out where this is. Before I ask where it is, you guys should guess. My guess, I'm gonna guess these pictures are from Haiti. Haiti. You guys guess. Think about it, I'll figure it out. <laughs> so I just asked, and I was right. These pictures are from Haiti. Um, there's a local person in the area that does work down there. Um, it's work um, around water, maybe water supply or water shortage, but they work um, in Haiti. And these are just some of the pictures that they've taken down there. I'm smart, I figured it out. All right guys, so I just got the soup. This soup is called pig's head soup. Pig's head. And then I got some of their pizza, sourdough pizza, which is supposedly really, really good. This soup is delicious. Mm. Really good. Guys, that food was great. That pig's head soup, it sounds scary, it sounds a little offbeat, but it was delicious. It's meat, you can't really tell that it's pig's head. And the pizza, mmm, that sourdough, yummy. I'm still wondering, should I get a job there? They're looking for a dishwasher, I mean, not the best dishwasher, but they're gonna give me money. We're going to Ferryville, Wisconsin. Do any of you know where that is? Anybody? Do any of you know what's there? Okay. Now I'm going to see something. And that something was voted the number one something in the whole entire country by the Huffington Post. I mean, it's the Huffington Post. I mean, they're big. People read it. They said that that something that's there in Ferryville is the best in the whole country here in the driftless you guys know what i'm talking about if not we're gonna keep going now i'm gonna show you that something that i was talking to you about right here is a gas station And right there, right there, is the Mississippi River. I'm about to drive down what's called the Great River Road. This is where the journey ends, here on the great Mississippi River. It is here that a long, long time ago, two glacial lobes never met. And they left an area of the Midwest to fend for itself. The water carved the area and made the hills that we see today. This, the stone, the hills, the food that we ate, the farmland, from the creeks to the mudslides, everything to right here, this flooding, this, all of it, this is the Driftless.
waiting forever to figure out what your destiny is, and then when you do, it's not really that exciting. <laughs>